it's Holly and today I wanted to share a FO or finished object with you guys today. It is my second ever knitted finished object and this one turned out amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a shawl by Helen Stewart on Ravelry. It's called the Spindrift Shawl. It is a paid for pattern but if you sign up for her newsletter she'll send it to you for free. So I totally got this for free. Um, it was just wonderful to knit. I knit it with a skein of yarn I bought off of Etsy off of a dyer called Haute Knit Yarns on Etsy in her colorway Prism. Um, it is a fingering weight and it was it's just gorgeous. Okay, you guys ready to see it? Here it is. Look. Da, 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 da. Here it is. It's a crescent. So you see, you start in the center and you work your way out to these beautiful little curly tips. Oh, so, so pretty. Go all the way back the other way. This gorgeous crescent. Um, you cast on here in the center. I used um, size six clover um, <laughs> with a little cord to them so that it was all connected. I'm sorry, I cannot think today. But size six, US six uh, knitting needles. Ooh, getting all tongue tied. So you start here in the center and you just work your way. You knit and then you purl back. You knit and you purl back. And at the ends of each row or the beginning of the end, you do these lovely, I don't know if you could see it very well. Let me pull down like in a bigger area. There we go. This lovely eyelets at the beginning and end of every row just gives you a little eyelet detail. So, so pretty. And then at the end, you work on this beautiful lace section here, which I mean, the camera is not doing it justice. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then you bind off, you can see here, with a little Pico border, which again, you are not, it's not doing it justice, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The yarn was amazing to work with. So super soft and look at these colors. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try it on for you guys because you know, everybody wants to know what it looks like on, right? <laughs> so let me do that. Let me get all of this crazy hair of mine out of the shawl. Oh, see? Just wrapped it, pulled my hair out, and boom. Gorgeous shawl. Just so lovely. It was wonderful to knit. Um, I did, you know, have a little trouble in the beginning with some of the terminology because I am new to knitting, so I had to look it up. But I just went to good old YouTube and <laughs> looked up the terms, and it was wonderful. It was super, super easy. Um, I thought it would be hard at the end to do the... the um, the Pico bind off because I'd only ever just did a regular bind off and I thought the Pico was going to be hard. It was not. I watched one little YouTube video about it. Totally got it. It was super, super easy. I would highly recommend this shawl for like a beginning because it really, you get your, your knitting, you get your purl stitch, you get yarn overs, um, the Pico bind off and you get, uh, what's some of the other terms? N knitting in the front and back loop, which was at first I was like, what? But then totally got it. It was super easy. And this only took me a week, one week. And I think that's pretty impressive since I've only ever knit one other thing. And that took me about a month. And then I never purled or yarned over or did a Pico bind off. And I did this in one week and it's so stunning. I love it. I originally wanted it to go with my hot pink shirt because I love hot pink anyways, but Look at how great it looks with this, this lovely teal shirt I have on. I mean, with this bright, colorful pattern I've got going here, I could wear this with like any color shirt I want pretty much and be good to go. <laughs> now on Ravelry, the pattern was knit using a beautiful cream yarn with like a little speckles in it. And it was just, it was beautiful, but I'm more of a bright, flashy neon color girl, right? That's so me, right? So when I got the um, yarn from Hot Knit Yarns, I was like, I have to, I was like, at first I was like, I'll make socks with it because it's sock yarn. And then I was like, I cannot wear this on my feet. I need to make a shawl. And I am so glad I did. When I started it, uh, well, actually not when I started, but when I got like, you know, to the middle area, it was a little hard because it was on my needles and it was all bunched up on the cord. And I thought maybe I made a mistake. I don't want to pull this all out. But then I went ahead and finished it. And when I pulled it off, the needles well I binded it off the needles I was like I'm still not sure <laughs> because this lovely lace pattern was all scrunched up like real tight scrunched together and so then I like was like I think I'm going to have to block this because 
uh, again, I've never really knitted and I've only ever really crocheted and I've never blocked almost any of my crochet. So I went ahead and blocked it. And when I took it off the blocking mat and it stayed and looked this gorgeous, I was like, yes, yes, I made the right decision. I'm super, super glad that I went ahead and made this. And I would definitely recommend it. Um, the pattern was very well written. I'm going to go check out more of her patterns now. And like I said, it is a paid for pattern, but you can get it for free if you just sign up for her newsletter and come on, we all get crazy. We sign up for newsletters all the time. We might as well get a beautiful, beautiful shawl out of this. Isn't this gorgeous guys? Oh, I think Crescent might be my new favorite shape of shawl. I don't know. Let's, I love shawls. <laughs> I'm just going to make a bunch. Crochet, knit. Uh, I did Tunisian. I love shawls. They're great. But this one might be one of my new favorites for now. You might see this on me again uh, very soon because I absolutely love it and I'm going to wear it until it falls apart. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have knit the Spindrift shawl, please, please head over to Facebook, share your pictures with me or let me know on Instagram or in the Ravelry group. I just love talking to you guys. Well, I'm going to get out of here because it's super late at night. But bye guys, see you later.